Okay, you guys, so I, I got the microphone hooked up here. I hope you can hear me a little bit better. So a lot of stuff has happened in one or two days. That's really what I have to tell you. Um, it, uh, it started back um, that day I made the, the video about Be Blissful and uh, about that somebody was upset that I told the truth about karma and reincarnation and I said, everyone is responsible for their behavior. You have to understand that. And that is analogous to karma. And um, I, went, I went back and I listened to the video that I put out. And I said it very clearly. I'm just going to, I'm just going to state a little piece of it right now. What I said was what the religions teach as karma is not true. It is not the source waiting to punish us when we do something wrong that's what i said i never said that we were not responsible for our own behavior this is the twisting of what i said by someone who just didn't like that i put it out there in the public because they either didn't know the truth or they elected not to tell the truth and let's bring it all the way back to we are all responsible for our own behavior and our own actions Okay, what has been constantly happening to me out here on this YouTube platform is all of these abusive people are throwing their crap at me because I do speak the truth and they don't want the truth out here. They don't want the truth out here. So um, here's what was just shown to me today, you guys, and... Uh, I'm moving at lightning speed. That's all I can tell you. Last night I was setting this computer up. Uh, I had to fully restore the factory settings and reinstall windows from a USB three times because Nithi and Ander goons were attacking me. Every single time I tried to set it up, they attacked me. So I had to wind up calling HP tech support and they had to stay on the phone remote into my computer with me while the drivers downloaded and then they had to help me download McAfee and everything else on here, okay? And I was talking to the guy about how these people are attacking me and what they're doing and what hit me as I was talking about it. See, because I don't have anyone to speak about this stuff with. What hit me as I was talking about it is this is absolutely psychological warfare. This is what they're doing. This is what they're doing because they get a kick out of hearing everybody tell me that they don't believe that someone is hacked into my computer. Because you see, every time HP Tech Support remotes in, they stop doing whatever they're doing. As soon as HP Remote signs off, they attack me brutally. There's more than one of them in here. They attack me brutally. So they get a real kick out of hearing me getting angry on the phone, getting frustrated and telling people that they're hacked into my cell phone. They're listening to the phone calls and people telling me that's impossible. That's impossible. They absolutely love this. And it is in fact, psychological warfare. It is in fact, psychological warfare. Here's what happened today. I was speaking to my doctor and they disconnected the phone. They prevented me from speaking to my doctor. This is not the first time they prevented me from speaking to my doctor. And I got so enraged. I got so enraged that I called AT&T. I, I, I went past the supervisor, got, got someone higher than the supervisor, and I started F this, F that, you name it, and I started crying. What happens to me when I start crying, when I get in that kind of anger? It only happens when I am in a full-blown rage and I'm trying to hold back because I can seriously hurt somebody when I get in that kind of rage, okay? And the next words that came out of my mouth is proof of what I'm saying right now, okay? I'm not going to repeat them, but I said something that um, I would not ordinarily say. And so when I get in that kind of a rage, I am very capable of hurting somebody. And you see... Here's what I want to tell you. Here is the ultimate reality. Here is the ultimate reality. Um, the source has, has literally right now 
um, not this second, but today, when all this stuff was happening, it was like the source just parted the Red Sea for me. I, I have my way through to get to the other side of the ocean. And he literally showed me the way. That is in the works right now. Here's the other thing that was happening. I kept saying that, that these people that are hacked into all my stuff, they're kids, they're kids. And I, I, I was like avoiding, I didn't want to keep going to the police and really forcefully make someone listen to me and, and really get these people in trouble. Uh, like that girl, Jen W, if that was her name, um, all of those people that I showed you that day that left comments on my page, they were, they're all the people that are hacked into all of my computers and my cell phones. And these are all the people that are um, calling my phones and hanging up once, calling my let it ring once and hang up and listening to my calls. And when I say something they don't like, they, they'll call one of my other phones. Another idiot called, called my... Uh, my Spectrum phone that I have, it left his full name and his full phone number. It's going right to the police. It's going right to the police. I still have the card with their with their fingerprints on it. It's going back to the police now. Um, and everything else that I had collected, I printed out the other day. It's all going back to the police now. And now I'm going to make them sit down and talk to me. And I'm going to ask to speak to a supervisor. No more speaking to some ignorant cop who didn't even go to... The police academy, it appears like. Now I'm going to sit down and speak to a supervisor. And someone will listen to me. And someone will do something. I have enough evidence now. See, what happened? They have been hacked into my stuff for so long. They started getting very arrogant. They really started getting very arrogant. Which means they started getting sloppy. And what was happening in the meantime is that I was increasing in vibration and decreasing in consciousness. And there is the, only the source flowing through here anymore. I'm able to see everything. This is how I was able to identify all of them. Okay. Uh, and what happened? Every single time I called HP Tech Support, I was watching what they were doing to my computer. And I have learned how to fix my own computer. Through all of this. When it got to the point today that they disconnected me from speaking to my doctor, that was the last straw. That was the last straw. So, um, I have in the works right now what I'm getting ready to, what the, the source just parted the Red Sea and showed me what I need to do. This is what I will be doing. Here's the other thing that I want to share with you guys. Last night, I uh, was led to a video um, how to remove uh, black magic, um, Santeria, um, and it, it specifically says in there, if you studied with people from the East and you studied um, speaking to uh, dead people, um, doing... Uh, doing the occult, the tarot cards, the, um, the practices that were taught over there. Uh, if you've done any of that, you've got to hear this guy command that these demons leave you. Command. Well, let me tell you what happened with this demon that's here. This thing started hurting me so bad. It actually, like, grabbed on my genitals, just grabbed on my genitals and it felt like there was nails going through me. And uh, it was a hand right there. There was a hand on my ankle. There was a hand around my stomach. It's like I was being held down. And all that started happening. Then the Kundalini started moving and my body started going like this while I was laying in my bed listening to this thing. And I just went hysterical crying. I just let everything go. I went hysterical crying. And all I start saying, like, like chanting, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, enter me. Holy Spirit, enter me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And um, I listen to this guy. This thing is like over an hour long. And I, I, I dozed off. And then as I woke up, 
about, it was almost three o'clock in the morning when I woke up again. Um, I put it right back on and I listened to it until I woke up in the morning. I'm getting ready to listen to it again right now. But you have to hear the way this man commands these demons to get out. He screams it. Get out! Get out! Loose! Get loose! Get loose! And as he was saying, get loose, these, this demon here, and it, there was a hand on my ankle, there was a hand on my stomach that were holding me down. He was saying, get loose! And they were holding me down. Do you understand? This is what Nithya Ananda has done to me. This is what Nithya Ananda has done to me. And you understand this. This is all his doing. This is all his doing. He is responsible for his own behavior. And every single person that's, that's abusing me for him, they are responsible for their own behavior. I have nothing to worry about how young these people are that I don't want to get them in trouble. They are not worried about hurting me. They are not worried about keeping me from speaking to my doctor. I am no longer worried about them spending the rest of their lives in prison. I am no longer worried about it. I am listening to this, this man again. I will be listening to him all, all, every free minute I have until this thing is out of here. Till this thing is out of here. And that really is all I have to say. The sound was screaming at me. And I, the, these things were just holding me down. And there was, there was a hand like right like this on my genital area. And it felt like nails were going in, hurting me like this. And then it was sending energy or something over to my bad hip to hurt my bad hip. I didn't care. I was just yelling for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And here's the one thing that I want to tell you guys. One thing that has always been different for, between me and what is written about the book of Job is that I have never cursed God. I have never turned from God. I have always gone closer to God. See? And this is what happened today. He, he just parted the Red Sea for me and showed me the way out. And now I will follow what, what I've been shown and I will follow it until completion. And uh, this man... <clears throat> this man that I was led to last night is it, along with a few other things. So I will post a separate video with this man in there. And um, if I tell you the first time he said, get out, and the first time he said, loose, loose, like let them loose, get get loose of her. The, whenever he said that, I got a, I got a flush of kundalini go through me and my body started going like this and uh these things started hanging on for dear life to me okay this is the one this is the one okay and he specific he talks about a lot of things in here people give you the evil eye when they're jealous of you and this is what all of these psychopaths out here the attacks i've been getting from all of them this is would be considered the evil eye they're jealous they're hateful so they send you evil intentions evil intentions and um he specifically said if you studied with the east and you're talking to dead people or you're calling on archangel michael he said that you're calling on archangel michael he said these demons will pretend to be archangel michael and come and help you get loose of them get loose of them get loose of them so I will put this in the description for you guys, for whoever wants it. Um, you are responsible for your own path. And here is the ultimate truth I want to leave you guys with. All of this crap that a, a, a realized being or a person in the nothingness, and I want you to understand realized being and nothingness are all concepts. They mean absolutely nothing, just as language is a concept. I want you to understand one thing. It is your expectation to believe that People who know who they truly are don't ever get angry. And I, I want to refer you right back to the Bible. I want to refer you right back to every spiritual scripture you've ever read. How God killed every single person on this planet. Only the people who were left in Noah's Ark survived. God does not care about this. Do you understand? God does not care. You guys better get cracking to wake up. And that's really all I'm going to tell you. You better get cracking because 
He is not going to stand there and feel sorry for you when you tell him that you did not know. He's not going to care. And that is what I saw fully last night. This earth has been destroyed, I believe, five times already. Five times already. We're heading for the sixth. He is not going to care for your excuses that you did not know. You guys really need to step up your game and get away from these psychopaths and abusers and demons. You must understand these people are not those forms that you're looking at. They're demons. They're literal demons. And this is absolutely spiritual warfare. This is absolutely spiritual warfare. Anyone who can hurt people the way these people hurt people. These are demons. And it doesn't matter how young these people are. And there's no excuse for these people. They are responsible for their own actions. And uh, that was what I was shown fully today. And I'm nobody's mommy out here. And I don't have to take care of anybody out here. I take care of people out here the same way that I have been taken care of out here. Okay? And you understand that only the source flows through here anymore. So, every single being here has a shadow side. Every single being here has a shadow side. And you understand something, that even the God of all creation killed every single human being on this planet when he was fed up with the bullshit You think about that. The next time you want to judge somebody who tells you that God is flowing through them and you're witnessing how demons are attacking them for year after year after year and all of you side with the demons. And then, oops, all of a sudden one day, here I am teaching Nisargadatta's teachings to you. I fully understand everything. Here I am. I'm out teaching all of these fake demon gurus out here. Oops. Guess somebody made a mistake. Guess somebody made a mistake. And what I'm telling you is, do not make another mistake when the source comes here and, and he's not going to care that you're saying, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. They fooled me. He's not going to care. You guys better get busy and you guys better wake up because we are all responsible for our own actions. And that really is all I want to say. So I will put the, 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 I think he's an evangelist. I don't know what he calls himself, but Lord have mercy. He shook up this demon here. There's, ac there's actually more than one here. I did not realize that. There's actually more than one here. I've got one hands around my ankle right now. There's more than one here. This is what Nithyananda has done to me. And he is fully responsible for his own actions. He really wants to sit there and believe that I asked for this. No, no. Let's go back to the beginning. He was the one who was hacked into my stuff for seven years. He was the one who was the guru who should have known better. Who I looked to for the answers who told me to go and fight with Ganga. He is fully responsible. He will be held responsible even higher than anything I've ever done. He will be held responsible because he portrayed himself off as God. And he has done all of this horrible stuff out here. It's now coming to an end. For them. For them. And I was shown that without any, any, Question, do you understand? When I tell you the source parted the Red Sea and showed me the way, that's exactly what I mean. And I hope all of you at least understand that anything I've ever said that I was shown, that I know, that I see, that I whatever, has all come true. I've never lied about anything out here. And hopefully when you start to wake up, you will begin to realize that. Until then, be blissful.